Now, you have to define the quality, what it looks like, what does the final product look like for your employees. You told them what to do, and you're telling them how to do it. And now you're telling them it needs to look like this, okay? How do you fold your towels? How do you fold, do you fold, do you fold your toilet paper? I don't know. How do you make beds? Do you fold the flat sheet back over the comforter or do you fold it back and then put the comforter over the top? How do you put comforters on? Do you do the flat, flat, flat method or do you do more of the taquito burrito roll? I don't know. You need to write this down and train your employees on it. Okay, now here's where things get really interesting. Put a time next to everything. Everything should have an acceptable amount of time. This is where when they get halfway through the task, if they're not halfway through that time, that you can be like, come on, pick up the pace. This is so that you're not getting antsy at someone when they are actually doing a good job. You need to define for yourself and for them how long things are allowed to take. It's okay if it goes faster, but it's not okay if it goes slower. You can go this fast or faster, that's it. Okay. It doesn't matter if you get the right numbers the first time, I guess. I guessed for mine, and then I put it out to my employees to start timing themselves, like how long does a bedroom take? How long does making the bed take? How long does taking out the trash take? You know, get numbers and times for these things. Okay, so when you do this, this is going to set you free. This is your other system, okay? You just wrote another system. So this is how you're going to estimate jobs. This is how you're gonna price jobs. This is how you're going to time jobs. It may be the case that you need to go back through your current clients and their jobs and stuff and make them longer. You need to give your employees the time that they need to get the job done, okay? You can't be rushing them all the time. You can't have a job that's like, two hours but should be three and expect them to get it done in two because that's just an unrealistic expectation especially for new hires and you're going to just crush their little souls and no one's going to be having any fun and they're going to leave you and then you're stuck hiring and training again and it's expensive.